In this video, we're going to do some examples of some exponential equations, um, specifically about radioactive decay and population growth. So we're going to start with our first example about radioactive decay. So we're going to let y represent a mass in grams of radioactive strontonium, which is a subscript of, superscript of 90 SR, whose half-life is about 29 years. Now the quantity of strontonium Present, uh, present after t years is y equals 10 times 1 half raised to the t over 29. So we want to know first, what is the initial mass when t equals 0? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug a 0 in for our t. So we're going to use our calculator to help us out with this. So we're going to have y equals 10 times 1 half to the 0 divided by 29. We're picking 0 because it told us t equals 0. So go ahead and pull up your calculators. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in 10 times 1 half, just missed the 1 there, sorry, there we go, 1 half raised to the 0 divided by 29. And that's going to give us an answer of 10. So here, we have y equals, maybe not in blue, let's do it with black, y equals 10. And so we have the initial mass is 10 grams. Okay. Then it asks us how much of the initial mass is present after 80 years. So here it's asking us to take T and put in an 80. So we'll go ahead, we'll have 10 times 1 half, and we'll raise that to the 80 over 29, and we'll get our Y value. So we're going to bring up our calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same thing, except this time, oops, I want, instead of a zero there, I want to have an 80. Okay, so there we go, 80 divided by 29, and it tells us 1.47765. So we'll go ahead and we'll round that to two decimal places and make that a 1.48 grams. So we see that there is 1.48 grams present after 80 years. Let's go ahead and let's do a population growth problem. This one's a little bit more involved. So we're going to approximate the number of fruit flies in an experiment population after t hours is given by q of t equals 20 times e raised to the 0.03t, where t is greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to find the initial number of fruit flies in the population. So that means when time is 0. So what we're looking for is when we have a time value of zero, what do we have? So we're going to take our equation and we're going to plug in a zero for our t. So we'll pull up our calculator and we'll plug that in, 0 0.03 times zero. And we're going to get a value of 20. So there are 20 fruit flies. So 20, so we have 20 initial fruit flies. It says, how large is the population of fruit flies, at fruit flies after 72 hours? So now our t value is going to equal 72. So we're going to look for q of 72. So I want you to go ahead and plug this into your calculator on your own and uh, push pause on the video. And when, when you're done, push play, and we'll see if you plugged it in correctly. So when I plugged it in, I got a 173.42. And since we can't really have a portion of a fruit fly, we'll round it to 173. And so here we're saying that there are about 173 fruit flies after 72 hours. And now it wants us to graph Q and to sketch our graph. So we'll pull up our calculator and go to our Y equals and clear out anything that's in there. We'll put in 20 raised to the E, or it's 20 times E raised to the 0.03x. And we're going to go ahead and we probably need to start with our window, change our window a little bit. So our time is going to be zero. And let's go up to um, maybe 100 hours. And we'll count by our tens. And then, or let's do 120 hours and we'll count by 12, so like half days. And we'll start with zero flies and we'll go up to maybe 2,000 flies and we'll count by 200s. And let's see what that looks like. So we have something else going down here, so maybe let's zoom in a little bit on our Y scale. So maybe not 2,000, let's maybe make that um, maybe 500, and let's count by 20s. 
That looks a little bit better. Oh, I think I have something left over here. Looks like my stat plot is on, so let's turn that off. There we go. We'll graph it there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's sketch that. And notice that right here, it doesn't start at zero because initially there weren't zero flies, there were 20 flies. And there we go.